Hey guys, so this is the beginning of my vlog. Um, we were supposed to leave out to Connecticut like earlier this morning, but I have to get COVID tested because I go away to the Virgin Islands in a few days. So I'm getting that out the way, but as you can see, having a great hair day, great hair day. But um, yeah, so you guys are gonna come along with me today. This is the first time I'm doing my own photo shoot and I'm actually doing my own graduation photo shoot. So this is something that, you know, if you're a baddie on a budget and you know, you need your graduation photos, you do it yourself. Sorry guys, my doctor came in quickly, but I was basically saying, you know, if you're on a budget and um, you need your graduation photo shoot, um, maybe you can't find a good photographer, you can literally do it yourself. So this is the first time I'm actually gonna be doing this. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, I've packed a lot of bags, I have several cameras, tripod, um, several different outfits, basically everything that I would have worn for a regular photo shoot. But the good thing about it is that I can kind of do it my own way and I can get the shots exactly how I want them. And then I can have all my pictures and I can just edit them myself. So um, yeah, and I'm good at photography, so. This is gonna be really exciting. This is my first time doing my own photo shoot, so I'm super excited and I'd love to show you guys how to do it so you guys can do your own photo shoots too. Okay, everyone, so we're on turn our way left, to Connecticut. And then we actually left. reached Connecticut. We're driving down to my college now. Turn left. And I did my makeup in the car. I just stopped in at a Starbucks. Quarter of a mile. So turn right. We actually also have Teddy. Where's Teddy? That's Darius. There's Teddy. In Say hi, Teddy. Turn right. <laughs> so when we get there, I will show you guys all the equipment that I brought today. So if you guys decide to do your own photo shoots as well, I can show you the different equipment I have and where I got them from. Turn right. Everything like that. So we're almost there. take my first picture in the library and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I have I'm just whispering because it's a library but I have my camera and I'm about to take out my LED light and this is the first picture I'm about to take okay guys so this is my ring light I'm gonna turn it on so you guys can see so this is my camera that I'm using today it's a Nikon D3400 and then this is the LED portable light I just got it on Amazon for like $50 and it's super bright so here's my LED light, and here is my camera, and yeah. So I couldn't really be loud at this point because we were in the library, but this was my first outfit. Those are my medals and my scrolls, and I was going for a business look. Alright guys, so we just took a few pictures, we're about to do some more. That's Darius behind the camera, wave. <laughs> Alrighty, so he was, he, you know, he was down on his knees catching the angles for me, but, um, the shoes off. yeah, he took the shoes off and everything, so he doesn't crease them, but, uh, you know, we got a chair, so we're gonna try and take some more. Alright, guys, got my, uh, got my red bottoms, got my limited edition Moet, and we're gonna take this picture here by the Arnold. Bernard Library. It's very pretty and it's super hot. And somehow Teddy is now ruining my photo shoot because he's in between my legs. Teddy, I have to take pictures. Okay, guys, so I just changed into my second outfit change. I have on this white dress that's from Shein and I have on my gown. And here is my cap. And yeah, I'm about to take some more pictures. So funny thing about my graduation cap, well, I made it all by myself and I love it, but I made it upside down. So like, it's made this way, but it's really supposed to lie on your head the other way. So I'm gonna try and figure out how to put it on my head for the picture. But of course, curly hair isn't really the best for that. And then I have my props in there, some books. And there's my cameraman again. So we're gonna go out on the quad, thank you. 
just took pictures in front of the library here. Now we're going down there. Okay guys, so I'm taking more pictures in this cap and gown. I'm taking it in front of our library right here. I really like this, um, you know, this reflective mirror that they have, but it's so hot, we're literally dripping in sweat. Like, <laughs> how you feeling? ready to go so yeah okay guys so i changed out of my second outfit here is my third outfit i went for a quinnipiac schoolgirl kind of look and as you can see i'm matching the colors i'm in the student center so yeah i'm wrapping up my photo shoot everyone's tired and ready to go but um i just have a few more spots and then we'll be out of here everything is going very well so i'm very excited to see how the photo shoot came out and i'll go in, i'll go into details with everything after i finish the photo shoot but yeah we're in a rush so yeah okay guys so i just took some pictures with that new bobcat sign that my college has and we're gonna go over to the other campus because i would like to i mean honestly i could just take it here because there's a bobcat statue here too but the other one is like the bobcat statue in front of the arena so i feel like it looks a lot nicer but yeah and honestly i'm really happy that sorry if i sound out of breath i'm carrying this heavy bag but i'm really happy that i did my own photo shoot because if i did the photo shoot with a photographer it would have had to have been for like an hour or two hours and now i can take as long as i want i can see my own pictures to make sure i'm getting good shots i can see what i like i can see what i don't like and i can keep taking more if i want to i can change do as many outfits as i want so and i mean honestly this isn't much different than like taking content for my instagram or even like tiktok content or whatever by the way follow me on tiktok almost to 10k on tiktok but yeah, um, this isn't much different than when like, um, you know, brands send me clothes to take pictures for them. So it's not that much different, except I usually just take my phone and use my phone and that's it. But yeah, honestly, um, I was just worried like, hmm, is my camera going to take it right? Is it going to look like a real photo shoot, like actual professional, you know, photos? But no, my camera is killing it. Like my camera looks so good. By the way, this is my phone. It's not my camera. He's holding my camera, but yeah. And um, yeah, so everyone's starving, but um, after I get these photos off my camera, then I'm gonna get to work and edit them. So yeah, I just have two more spots that I wanna take pictures. I'm hoping the arena's open so I can go in there too and take pictures. But if not, then I have gotten a lot of good ones, so. Okay, so we're on the second campus. It's so pretty. Here's the People's United Center, air hockey, basketball, whatever, all that good stuff. So we're gonna finish up, take some more pictures. Thanks, Teddy. Teddy's my hype man. And yeah. This was honestly a lot of fun. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, click subscribe give this video a thumbs up all that good stuff last set of pictures he's doing an amazing job i've i trained him so applause for me but um yeah last set of pictures they're coming out so nice so nice oh and look at this uh look at this off-white moet bottle hold on hold this real quick let me show them the bottle real quick real quick before my phone died in this take this too. Y'all, look at this off-white Moet bottle. It says, do not drop. Do not drop Virgil Abloh Moet. Okay, all right. So after the photo shoot, I picked my favorite pics and I retouched them. And here are my favorite photos from the photo shoot. So I am in love with how they came out. This slideshow kind of killed the quality of the photos so you can't see how crisp they are, but as you can see, the photos look amazing. I'm in love with it and I couldn't have imagined my graduation photo shoot coming out any better. This is exactly how I wanted it to come out. 
and because they came out so amazing, I was actually shocked and Darius and I decided we'll be starting a photography business, so book us. So Darius and I decided to name our photography business KD Capture. That is the official name and you can book us by email. 